born on April 17, 1837 as John Pierpont Morgan into the influential Morgan family in Hartford, Connecticut to Juniors Spencer Morgan and Juliet Pierpont. J.P. Morgan grew up to become one of the pillars that held America. If you doubt that, imagine what it means for a single individual to borrow his country money as Morgan did in 1907. In this video, we bring to you J.P. Morgan's 7 Secrets of Success. By secrets, we mean what he knew, thought and did that made him very successful. Try to watch to the end of this video because secret number 6 can change your life completely. Secret number 1. Take risk and seize opportunities. The young Morgan was once visiting New Orleans while a boat of Brazilian coffee sailed into port without a buyer. The coffee could go bad quickly, so Morgan made the unauthorized choice to spend his boss's money on the coffee. His superiors were outraged by his risky gambling, but JP Morgan immediately sold it to the local diners and cafes for a tidy sum. After the coffee incident, JP Morgan left the firm to make his own way. He was guided by the advice of his father, who mentored him for much of his life, but JP Morgan was also a visionary. After meeting Thomas Edison, Morgan invested everything he had to form the Edison Electricity Company, although his father believed electricity was just a fad. Together, Edison and JP Morgan created the world's first power station and what eventually became General Electric. The world is filled with people who take it easy. But that's not the path to greatness. To be successful, you must dare life and take risk. Not taking risk is risky. What do you think? Secret number 2. Your network determines your net worth. Today, Morgan is remembered for bailing out the US government during the Panic of 1907. Failed speculation and 1906 San Francisco earthquake had triggered a series of runs on banks across America. In an interview with UVA professor Robert F. Brenner for the Smithsonian, Abigail Tucker finds that Morgan soothed the panic by calling upon his deep and extensive relations throughout the financial and business communities. JP Morgan gathered top financers in his home on 34th Street, created working groups and determined which institutions to save and which ones to allow to die off. The wealthy friends Morgan made during his youth in America and schooling in Europe were instrumental in his business success. To be successful in life, you must build a tall world around yourself. Not the kind Donald Trump threatened to build against Mexico, <laughs> but a tall wall of other great minds. Five people you spend most of your time with determines what your next five years will look like. Just as Mark Twain said, good friends, good books and a sleepy conscience, this is the ideal life. Secret number 3. Be creative. In 1895, gold reserves had dwindled to almost nothing. JP Morgan created a plan for bankers to invest gold directly into the government. But President Grover Cleveland chose to authorize the sale of gold bonds instead. Unfortunately, the government did not have the time to sell gold bonds and the situation was deteriorating. Morgan found a loophole in an 1862 law that allowed the Secretary of the Treasury to issue bonds to buy gold coins without congressional approval. This loophole led to the end of the panic as JP Morgan and Co. led a syndicate of bankers to sell bonds and buy back gold from foreign investors. For Morgan, no wasn't an answer but an acronym for next option. There are usually ways to overcome whichever obstacle comes your way. But you have to be creative and put your mind to work. Secret number 4. Keep moving forward despite failures. In 1900, JP Morgan invested over $100,000 in Nikola Telsa's failed wireless communication system. Two years later, Morgan tried to enter the London subways market but was unable to convince Parliament to permit his project. In the same year, JP Morgan & Co. funded the International Mercantile Marine Company IMMC. 
whose subsidiary owned the RMS Titanic, a British passenger ship that sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton, United Kingdom to New York City, US. Despite these failure after failure, JP Morgan followed his own advice and kept moving forward. Failure isn't a bad occurrence, it's simply a ladder that leads to success. The world's most successful people are the greatest failures. The more successful you wish to become, the more mistakes and failures you will experience in your life. Because we all spent years in schools where mistakes are punished, it's just natural that we try to go through life avoiding failures. However, just as darkness precedes daylight, failures always precede success. The question isn't whether you'll fail or not. The question is whether you'll embrace failure or cry because of it. Take heart and be strong. Winston Churchill said, Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Secret number 5. You don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. In 1907, there was another panic on Wall Street. JP Morgan believed that rescuing the failing bank trust might reverse the downturn and restore the people's faith in the banks. His solution was to get the large trusts to invest in their weaker competitors, something they were obviously reluctant to do. Morgan gathered the trust company presidents in his library, locked the door and refused to let them out until they came to an agreement. The bankers argued all night, sometimes sending comments or suggestions to Morgan, who refused to budge. When dawn came without an agreement, Morgan stormed in with a contract and a pen, instructing the presidents to sign. They all did. <laughs> Being tough is part of the game, right? Stories about JP Morgan's unusual negotiation tactics are abound. His strategy to bring people together was to isolate the relevant parties and set a deadline for agreement. Life may not give you what you deserve, but what you negotiate. Secret number 6. Things change, and that's not a bad thing. In one famous incident, when asked by a passerby what the stock market was going to do next, Morgan responded simply, it will flock to it. Unfortunately, Morgan probably never quite said that. According to Barry Popick's research, the earliest appearance of the quote dates back to 1934, decades after the man's death. However, Morgan's ability to both adapt to and facilitate change was clear throughout his career. Morgan was frequently able to seize failing entities and morganize them. As Heather Timmons reported for Bloomberg, Morgan will take over problem companies, flush out incompetent managers and appoint people he trusted. Over time, many of the companies would recover and become profitable, keeping capital flowing into other Morgan deals. The only way to cope with change is for you to change with change. Secret number 7. Have integrity When Morgan bet his firm's capital on the Brazilian coffee boat earlier on in his career, he said that he wasn't worried about the risk from the investment. His only risk he maintained was in misjudging the captain's character. Entrepreneurs must gather all available knowledge to make wise financial decisions but it will come to nothing if the people they surround themselves with do not have integrity. Your integrity matters. People should be able to trust you or they won't do business with you. Don't forget the words of Zig Ziglar. The foundation stones for a balanced success are honesty, character, integrity, faith, love and loyalty. Now let's discuss. Which of the above lessons from Morgan's life makes more sense to you? What other thing do you learn from JP Morgan that are not mentioned in this video? Which other successful person would you like us to make a video about? Kindly drop your comment. If you love this video, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. And if you've not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now and turn on the notification because we will help you discover secrets of success from the world's best books and great people. We love you.